Hi everybody, it's Jennifer Murdy with the Ocala Gazette. It's Wednesday, February 7th, and we are still uh, thinking a lot about the tragedy that happened last week. As we reported, um, somebody who struggled with mental illness, Kendra Boone, stole a deputy's vehicle and it collided with another vehicle and three lost their lives and one was critically injured. The Marion County Sheriff held a press conference the following day and he really railed against answering any questions the media posed about policies and procedures. Andy, don't go there. No, I'm not. No, no. We didn't do anything wrong. What did he? Oh my God. What do you people not get? You want to put the blame somewhere else? The blame is on this Kendra Boone. Not a policy, not what my deputy did, on her. You want to fix our problem in society, hold people accountable. Juveniles to a hundred and some years old. It's as simple as that. Except that it wasn't as simple as that in this particular case. The questions um, were relevant and, and not inflammatory. Uh, as members of the public, I mean, if we leave our vehicle on with the keys in there, uh, unsecured, we can be guilty of a misdemeanor. And if somebody under those circumstances were to take our vehicle and cause a tragedy, we would be liable for damages. So to the public, it was a relevant question. If anybody was to Google why law, law enforcement officers have to keep their vehicles on, you're gonna find a lot of good explanations. But the sheriff did not use the press conference to explain any of that, um, which is unfortunate. It's also unfortunate that he did not give more context. He complains often that the media slant information. I would say in this particular press conference, the sheriff slanted information. He only provided the public a small window into what happened. He did not include the fact that the family had reached out the day before concerned for their daughter. He did not explain that the night before the incident, she sought refuge at a church and asked to be take to the, taken to the emergency room for the night. All of these things could have generated a conversation about a societal problem that we need to address, which is mental health. We, so many families are struggling to save their loved ones that suffer from mental illness, the conversation should, it was a perfect time for it. Instead, the sheriff decided to refer to Kendra as a moron and an asshole. Her, I don't give a crap about. about. What he did not think about is that her children who live in Marion County, the very next day after losing their mother, are watching their sheriff refer to her in this manner. Kendra's parents, heartbroken, are listening to the sheriff describe their daughter in a very undignified way. It was a horrible situation. When the sheriff chose to communicate in this style, he violated his own code of conduct, which requires deputies to always be courteous when addressing the public. It was a missed opportunity for the sheriff to show leadership. We need to have grown up conversations about some of the things that plague our community. You know, I know sheriff, sometimes you think that the press's role is not really relevant to the work you do, but our forefathers thought enough of the role we play that they enshrine protections for it in the Constitution, the Constitution that you swore to uphold. Let's try to have better communication. It's in everybody's best interest. We want to report about the good and the hard work that your deputies do day in and day out. But when it comes to societal issues, we're all in this together. We need to understand all the circumstances. We need to have open conversation and we need leaders that are willing to have those hard conversations. 
When we do that, when we treat the subject with dignity, the people involved with dignity, it allows children like Kendra Boone's to be able to grieve in dignity and have the community support. That's what's in the best interest of our community is to provide that. We look forward to better communication in the future, but let's as a community not let this moment pass without keeping the conversation going. How can families get those that are afflicted help before tragedies like this happen? That's the question.